Hello, everyone. Hello, Orca. Um, so the board was uh, met in an executive session tonight from 6 to 8. And we have... So the only thing we have to report is that we will be following up with the constable. And that's all we have to report. So moving along on the agenda, is there a public comment for items not on the agenda or additions or changes to the agenda? Um, I don't see the road commissioner who was scheduled to be here for like around eight. Well, maybe this is him. Out. Oh, right. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. We were just saying. Okay, Cliff is checking out the building. Yeah, he's leaving the building. All right. So, what do we got here? Travis. Okay, so moving right along. Um, so just for John and Ro uh, I sent Roger Strobridge a chat message, but I see John Kading is here as well. You're welcome to stay and listen to our meeting, but if you don't want to, just wanted to let you know there's no update on the Worcester Tower tonight. John Kading, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Yeah, I don't know. I think Roger is still trying to get his audio to work. Do you have a way to contact him and let him know the same? I sent him a chat message, but people don't sometimes think to check that or see that. Uh, yes, I can. Uh, I can try to get a hold of him. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you're welcome, Thank you're you. welcome to stay and, and party with us, but if you don't want to... There isn't any update tonight. Yeah, all right. Okay. I appreciate it. All right, thank you Good. so much. Thank you. Okay. Um, Alfred, road crew. Uh, any no, update? I really don't have much to update on that. I do have two prospective people that have not put in a resume yet. <laughs> People just called you up or you talked to or met yeah, someone? One, one was talking on the phone, email. Uh, that was, I think I told you about this gal last, last meeting. Nothing. Oh, the same person? The same person. The, the state guy? No. No, no. This no. was a woman, right? This was a woman. Oh, it was a woman. Oh, cool. She works yeah. in a shop yeah. and is looking for a career change. Good. Don't know why she would ever want to do this, but. Hey, why not? That's her decision. Have you heard from her again or not since we had um, two weeks she, ago? She sent me a fairly large email explaining her credentials and what she's looking to do. Mm -hmm. uh, the big hang up there is, is to get her license upgraded. So she doesn't, got, she doesn't have a CDL or she does? She's got a CDL Class C which only allows her to drive a mini school bus that will carry 16 passengers or less. Class C? Mm -hmm. So we would have to get her upgraded to, a, to at least a B. Mm -hmm. But in her email, she tells me that she wants to go all the way and get a class A. What is it? Is it I don't know anything about this, Alfie. Just briefly, what's involved in her getting a class A? Well, there's a written test. You got to make an appointment with the state to do a written test, and then a, a, what they call a skills test, which is walking around the truck, explaining all about it, what you're looking for for damages or any wear items, just so that the instructor knows that you know trucks, right, and knows what you're looking for for safety issues. And then, then there's a driving test. So she would have to take a truck that is legal and safe uh, to take a driving, driving test with. Is it, is it the kind of thing where, <clears throat> does this mean she's never driven one of these trucks? So she'd have to take some lessons or something like that? Well, 
Yeah, well, there's no required amount of hours. Yeah, but I mean, just I mean, as a practical matter, <coughs> yeah, she I assume would you'd have, you wouldn't want to just say, give her the keys to one of the trucks. Right. That's sure. In fact, that was another point that she made in her email was that she would like to come and shadow me or one of my guys in the truck to to get a feel for it and see. So yes, there, there. I would definitely want to give her some practice before. Do you feel like this is a person who, like, is a possibility? Um, I mean, like, she's I'm serious. intrigued by her interest and her willingness to try something new. And quite frankly, we're just not getting a lot of people. So right. yes, I'm okay. definitely interested in, in pursuing her interest. Cool. <coughs> That's great. Um, is an A required? No, it's just a B required. So does anybody have an A? I do. Uh, Tyler does. And John does. So, so we have three A's on our... So on what our would she not be able to drive if she doesn't have an A? She wouldn't be able to take the trailer, truck and trailer. Oh, okay. So she'd have to stay with just the, what we call a straight truck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And you don't, do you need a CDL to drive the graders? Yes. Actually, you do because they are anything that weighs more than twenty six thousand pounds is required to have a commercial license. So that would be a plow. That would be <coughs> the way. only the only vehicle that we have that would not require that is the little pickup. <coughs> sure. And the one the one ton truck that's yeah, just so really under done. the CDL. So which is a plow truck too. Yeah. Which is a plow truck. Right? Yeah. So she can drive. So she could drive a plow truck. Yeah. Yeah. She could. Okay, she could take over my room. With an A? With a, no, with a B. With a B? With a B. But she wouldn't be able to drive one of the bigger trucks with a B? Yes. Okay. Yes. And she, she's uh, interested. Well, actually, I think that uh, anybody could drive the little truck that I drive. Right, I can drive. Any one of you guys can come in and take my spot. Any time. Hey! <laughs> as far, as, like, as, far as the license goes. <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm continuing to pursue that. Uh, I did have another guy this weekend ask me about it. Mm -hmm. uh, so I told him, get your resume together and get it into me and we'll see where it goes. But he's currently got a job already and he wants to be more local. He lives in Woodbury and he's working down here in the area. So, uh, so and then I just got were through the grapevine that we might have, there might be another person that's interested. Well, I posted the ad on a whole bunch of Facebook pages right. in Woodbury. Yeah. And that's why I was, I was figuring I would just give it a little bit more time to see if we get any results from that. Somebody was interested. Somebody was interested. That was, yeah, on the Facebook posting that I did. Okay. So they need to get a hold of me. Yeah, it says it right on the ad. Yeah. To get a hold of you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so that's where we're at. I mean, we've got two positions to fill still. Yeah. And, um, so far, we're keeping up. Uh, you know, using kind of splitting the time up with Ed and Dana to keep it. Yeah. Well, hopefully, we won't have any more events like we had on Saturday. That was a doozy. Not gonna lie. Yeah. Well, that was yeah. A good I imagine. Well, it just blows, so as soon as you plow it, it's just going to drift again, right? Yeah. Yeah, well, it put down a lot of snow in a short amount of time, mm -hmm. too. I mean, yeah. the only way I knew to fight it was to get half of it to begin with and then get the next half. Because it was happening, it started like 2 o'clock in the morning. Right. And so I only went out at like 11 to start plowing, got half of it, and then stopped. By the time we get around, it's six hours, so it was like 6 o'clock we stopped. And then hit it again in the morning. Yeah, yeah, I said I could buy in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but then then by two o'clock it was all the roads were all bare because the sun came out and right. it off. Okay. Okay. And then this week we're supposed to get some rain. Some rain, some snow, a little bit of snow tonight, they said, but yeah. uh, frost is working it's working yeah. right in the mud season soon. I thought we already were. Well, no the mud season. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're talking, they're talking 60 degrees Friday. So. Yeah. Yeah. The bottom one we give out. We'll we'll see see yeah. Mm. Yeah. But Roger Hill said winter's not over. 
we're heading back into winter next week or something. Really, maybe another storm? Mm -hmm. Sounds like it. Mm -hmm. Maybe cold. I don't know. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Winter's well, not over. It's, it is still early. Okay. Anything else? Um, well, I was slipping around and I just got a, I looked at a another application for employment, and I got one from Barry Town. It was updated uh, 2018. Oh, not somebody interested. It's no, it's just an application for, this, for, yeah, for right. comparison, and I know yep. you put a, a, a draft together. Yep. Um, so I was going to compare the two and maybe you know use some from this and use some from that and see. If okay. We'll just well get back to me. Let me know. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this one's ready to go. Uh, I don't know if you guys want to see it. And, Oh, you mean you you produce one now? Yes, this yeah. is, it's, it's the one that Barry Town uses. It looks it looks shorter than the other one, which is nice. Yeah. So, is yeah, your so thought you want to just work with this one? You you want to do you want to do it? What are, what are you saying? Well, I'm just it's another option for us okay. to, for us to uh, look at. It's got it's a little more thorough, I thought, and, and updated. Yeah. Well, East Montpelier doesn't even use an application anymore. They haven't since 2011. Right. They just use letters, of, letters and resumes. Yeah. And I think that's what most people are probably used to. Yeah. Well, I mean, it depends on the on the employer, I guess. A lot. But are you said you'd be more comfortable if we had a form? Yes. Okay. Well, I can take a look at it and take a stab at. It. Yeah, I mean, you've done a one draft already, two drafts. Yeah, it's already. Why don't you just take this as yeah, yeah. well, sure. um, a Why don't I just take a stab at offering it? Why? Why more comfortable with an application than just asking people to submit a cover letter and a resume well, it's, or something? It, it doesn't have to be a resume, right? That might be a scary word, but, but a, a cover letter with a summary of your skills. Passing well, it's sort of an application is sort of a questionnaire asking information that we would want <laughs> yeah. as an employer from from an employee. Mm -hmm. you know so, what, what is your what is your skill set? What is your what's your past look like? What have you done in the past? How many other project or jobs have you done? Do you, you know what I mean? I it do. This allows I them to give information uh, that we can. We can use. Well, and the bottom line is a resume would have that, but people, well, hopefully it would have that. Some right. people might not. If you're going to compare, compare apples correct. to mm -hmm. apples, if everybody's filling out an application, then it's mm -hmm. it's fair across the board that everybody fills out the same thing. So you have all the information right. that you need to know right. that interview. That's what you're saying? Not, I mean, also, not, you not every employee knows how to put that. Put a yeah, right, right. yeah, that's fair. This okay. is sort of a checklist. They go down, they can answer the questions that we ask, sure. and it gives us the information right. without. And, and also, you know, if you say, like you've been going back and forth with someone like this person you talked about a minute ago, and you say, well, here's the form, please fill it out, it's kind of like putting their money where their mouth is. Right. That's right. It's like an application, yes. Yeah. You would answer on this too, like licensure levels, though. D, C, B, A. Yeah, All right, you want me to take a stab at that one? Yeah, that's got that. I mean, maybe there's something in the small players that looks good that we could add to this one. Yeah, I'll take a look at it. And, you know, obviously we've got to change the letterhead and all yeah. that. It didn't that take me that long because I pretty much plagiarized these small players. Yeah. So. All right, is there anything else? Uh, no, not on, not on employment. Okay. All right. Thank you for coming. Anything else? Anything else? Uh, no, I don't think so. Things are going well. I still don't have the the used truck that we're supposed to be getting. I haven't come through that. I'm still waiting on that. I did get the CB International back uh, from the shop. It's been in the shop for over a month. So I got that back yesterday or the day before, I guess. And it's working? It seems to be working right now. Yep. But right it's just, I mean, it's just, that thing is, I want to get rid of it as soon as I can. 
Is that gonna, is the new used one we're getting gonna take? No. No, that's not, that's taking no. care of this, that's, that's replacing the spare. The spare. Right. 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 Gotta get the trucks right. Yeah, yeah, yeah there's a lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, uh, there is. So, yeah, other than that, things are plugging along. I mean, I'm gonna start hauling gravel for the mud season mm -hmm. uh, very soon. Maybe even tomorrow, depending on. Where are you gonna get that from? I'll get it from Marshfield. Oh, from Bickford's? Bickford's Quarter, yeah. Uh, they called me the other day, said they're open. They're open. Yeah. Mm. So, was hoping for a storage place, but we don't really have one. We used to do it out here in the town hall driveway, but I think that's probably not an option anymore. Oh, right, when we had COVID, we weren't meeting here. Right. For, you mean grant to put a pile for this side of town? Yeah, just to have it here as closer and we can stockpile it for yeah. when we need it. Um, but obviously this building's going to be going to be used more. And that's probably not. Yeah, I don't know if there's any, is there any other, there's no other place to really to store it, is there? Not like really. Not really. I mean, John was working on that a little bit. Right. Yeah. But yeah. I, I don't know how far along we got. Yeah, I don't know. So we'll just we'll store it at the shop and work it out of there. Mm -hmm. so we'll have to do. All right. Other than that, that's well all I got. Thank you. Well, thank you to you and to uh, thank you to the crew. Thanks. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Thanks. Yes. All right. Have a good night. All right. You too. Good night, friend. Um, the board is still circulating. Yeah. Um, there's no support for the treasurer or. Liquor tax collector. We do have several liquor licenses. That this happens every year. You have to re, they have to renew the liquor licenses. We have um, Adamant Co-op. We have Maple Corner Whammy Bar. Maple Corner. I think this is supposed to be together somehow. Um, several from Maple Corner because there's the store, there's the Whammy Bar. So there's several of these two sign. That's it though, right? There's two from Maple Corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I think there's two from Whammy, two for the store. Why two? Because they have a, um, a board of directors and stuff now. They have a what? They have a board of directors now. <laughs> And I think that probably they, because their names are listed here. Um, so this would be the store. I just picked these up tonight. I haven't even had a chance to look at them. And we have to approve them. We have to sign off on them. It's, I mean, we've done them before, so it's not like it's a new application. Um, sometimes we'll have to do one for the East Cal General Store. Damn right. right. So, um, would anybody like to make a motion to approve the 2022 liquor licenses for renewal for Maple Corner Store, Whammy Bar, and Adamat Co-op? So moved. Second. I think this is missing a... Okay, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. I'll pass these around. Somehow I think this got pulled off of itself. Oh, two, oh, one. Oh, no, this is separate all by itself. These are all oh, one. So this is just the store. Yes. Approved by the board. Oh, yeah, this has to go to. Um, So we, really, we just really have to sign them and then Jeremy fills in the rest and sends them to the state to be recorded. Is it proper for us to sign them before Jeremy's filled them in? Yeah, he can't do his part until we do our part. Okay. All right. Oh, thank you. All right. So we all we moved and approved, so start sending these down. Can you sign them here?
here where it says approved? Because there's a section to not approve and there's a section to approve. Yes, approved. Yeah, so this is the Maple Corner Community Store Board of Directors. And this is Maple Corner Store Board of Directors. I think you have to have a license to sign sell wine, and then you have to have a separate license to sell, because they sell drinks, don't they? Mixed drinks? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's and this right. is Maple Corner Store. Okay, that makes sense now. All right. All right. Next up is our annual organizational meeting. Um, Selection of officers. I couldn't remember about Robert's rules, but I put it on there. And then also, um, oh, about our meeting format. We want to keep continuing to meet hybrid. Do we want to go back to just in person or just Zoom? I mean, every time we try to do a hybrid, there's some kind of technical issue. You can't hear. Um, the woman that was going to help us out with minutes tried to listen to our recording of the meeting, and she couldn't, she couldn't make heads or tails out. And she's not somebody who, she's experienced, so it wasn't like she didn't know. Um, so anyway, so up first should be election of officers. What are our officers on the chair and vice chair? Chair yeah. and vice chair. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Are we nominated for the squealer and Sharon for the chair and Sharon as vice chair? Can they have to be separate? Yeah, we should do it separate so that we can. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so let's take the first one up. Um, for chair, is there a second? I'll second. Okay, all those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Okay, I'm not going to vote. And you want to do the next one? Uh, I'll make a motion to nominate um, uh, Sharon Wynn as the, as the uh, vice chair. Second. Okay, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Did you abstain? I abstained. <laughs> Looked like it, but it was I'm going to fall asleep. Okay, well then let's get through stuff. We have not. Because we've been meeting since 4 30, you and I. I know. We have not done Robert's rules actually in years. So, okay, so we don't need to do that? Well, no, 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 no. <laughs> We're supposed to do something. So, this is where last year we started an effort to, um, well, maybe a little history is useful. When I first joined the board, so, this, so I'm entering my sixth year. When, we, when I first joined the board, I think for maybe one year, certainly the first year I was on, we, we adopted Robert's Rules. Right. Um, for small boards. Yeah. And I meant to bring my book. I the, brought mine. Okay. It's, it's still like... Yeah, it's still thick. Um, it's just like this, right? Yeah. We don't do Robert's Rules. So then we realized we don't do Robert's Rules, and we adopted something from the league. And then we didn't do that either. So last year, I asked that we work on something that we actually are going to do. And we have worked on that off and on over the year, and we, st we still never adopted it. I that. thought we did. And we never did? Nope. Well, we should. So I, I, I would be... Did you complete that effort? And there was, we did create something. We right. absolutely created something. You're all familiar with it. We've tinkered with it over and over and over. Um, and that's what we should adopt. We should finish that work that we started. And and adopt that okay. because I that because the next agenda. What yeah. So that? what is it? Yeah. I mean, it's it's, it's our, all it's our a, internal rules of order. It's the callous rules organizational rules by Okay. Cool. Cool. And but the, the the goal is to have something that we will actually. Hmm. I'd love to do. see it. Yeah. So I can know you have seen it. it. You worked on it. Yeah, you've seen it. When you first got on, oh, you took, okay. you took well, the wrong can... version and worked on it. Remember, oh, right? Those in those your the, that right. that's yeah. the thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I'll put it on for the next meeting. <laughs> okay. Because I, I, I okay. I'm sure. sorry. I'm and and we, um, well, we're going to go on to schedule. But one of the things that I would like to, con I would really love for us to have a select board assistant. I know Denise, you're doing the work of the assistant, and you're doing a good job, but. That's something we've talked about. We've continued to budget for it. 
Um, we have talked about that person maybe taking some ownership of the grants. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to keep saying if we had such a person, um, I mentioned to you guys informally I was in um, Georgia this weekend and I have a friend on the select board. She got a packet on Friday delivered by the select board assistant. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, for a meeting Monday night? Or for a meeting Monday night, yes. It was available Thursday afternoon. She asked for hers in paper. And, and I mean, that's a little above and beyond. But in any, any case, that kind of discipline and, you know, kind of systematic approach to our meetings, I think it would make your life so much easier. I know it would make mine easier because when you've got all those balls in the air and, you know, it's hard. I mean, I can only imagine what it's like trying to. to focus on the important stuff. Um, stuff. Well, but but just you know, I don't know. I having a select board assistant. That person could take our minutes. That person could do some of the some or all of the grant work we need done and make a much you know cleaner structure of that. That person. We're have a lot of people doing grants. Well, somebody <laughs> having having somebody besides Toby would be would. Uh, well, we do have a lot of people doing grants. Not right. Toby. Anyway, I, mean, um, I can. I really, I really, I think that well, we that is. Even, we can't even find something to do our minutes. We just got to keep trying. I, I know. That, keep doing. Yeah. Keep trying. Yeah. Um, I like the idea of having a select board assistant. It's in our budget, and mm -hmm. I also like it. How shall I put this? I like it in, in light of all the discussion that we've been having tonight. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. It, there's a, there's a lot of work that Denise yeah, does. Prepare as well for possible eventual. And Denise, mm -hmm. I mean, the other thing that having a, having another person do on board is it. You do a lot. Do, um, we, do we have a job description? We had we had an old one, an old one. But some of the stuff that was on that. The treasurer does, and we should look at it again. It would give us it would give us bench strength. We don't have. Okay. That's what I'm trying we'll to say. We should have the next step, huh? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. I just I think we should keep keep we it. Definitely need somebody to do that. Okay. Um, so is that a position? So is, what's the next step? Well, the next step is we're going to go with the job description. I guess I've been focused on. We need a treasurer. Yeah. We need minutes. somebody to take yeah. our minutes. We have these other issues that we've been dealing with. So Do you think the tell me, am I wrong? Could a could an assistant take minutes? Absolutely. Yeah. 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 We can yeah. have it be anything we want. Yeah. I would say that that would be one of their options. Yeah. 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 yeah, we had we had one and for various reasons it didn't work out. Mm -hmm. So I just I think we need to we look at it. I think it's part time. I don't think it's full time. Mm -hmm. um, Katie was kind of doing pieces on it. Katie was she doing was, a lot of pieces. She was. She was. Yeah, so. so we need somebody like Katie, but mm -hmm. it would be nice to have somebody come here and take our minutes, depending on what we decide. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Were you on when Lisa Stout did her minutes mm -hmm. at the very beginning? Yeah. And and do a lot of the follow up, right? Yeah. There's a lot. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of follow up. There's a lot of um, there's a lot of just little tasks that come out of mm -hmm. our meetings, and I think it'd be great if we got someone as young who not is, young. We don't care. No, but I mean, I know. But I'm just thinking, someone who's out of school and wants and is well, I keep, say, and, I keep saying that taking our minutes is the perfect job for the stay-at-home parent that wants to earn. Some extra Somebody money, the side, and the other parent is home and watching the kids. You know, it's like the perfect opportunity. Okay. You can, I mean, you can't find anybody to do anything. Okay. All right. Well, it so, doesn't mean it's not on our wish list. And yeah. I agree that some of the other things are, are bigger priorities, but I just don't want us to lose sight of that no, because if these guys had that technical chart, we would have no idea what to do. Yeah. Um, All right. So can that bring us to um, how, what, we, how we want to meet? Because I would, I would personally vote for going back to the original meeting format. Just all in person? All in person, no Zoom. How do you feel, Sharon? I'm fine with all in person, no Zoom. I'm fine with all Zoom. But this hybrid stuff doesn't. I am, I am not a fan. I think the time has come when the situation with public health 
is such that we can say from now on we're going to be in person here, mm -hmm. and that if people want to come, they can come. Right. And wearing a mask is optional for the moment. Yeah. Well, I did check. Um, East Montpelier dropped their mask mandate. Montpelier doesn't have a mandate anymore. Mm -hmm. state, um, the state. I mean, we all know state, the state. The all... state doesn't have a mandate. Things are different than they were a month ago. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, to say Mark said it for the moment. Right, yeah, for, right. Now. for now. It doesn't mean this can't change. We can change. Yeah, we can change. Okay, so we'll go back to all, all in person. Do we need Masks are room? optional. We're going to have to vote on a bunch of this stuff. Okay. Yeah. So um, I make the motion that we, beginning at our next meeting, we have a wholly in person, no Zoom option meeting, and we continue that format until um, circumstances dictate a different approach. Second. Okay. Any other comments? All in favor, please say aye. 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 All right, next is schedule of meeting dates, time, location. So this schedule has worked out well. I think everybody in town is used to this schedule. It's second and fourth Monday of every month, um, starting at 7, unless we do like we had a special thing today. Um, meeting locations here at the hall. So I would make a motion that we continue with the schedule we currently have, as I just stated. Anyone uh, have any thoughts? Second. Okay. Comments? Questions? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 All right. Um, posting locations. We have determined, and this is when we'll also tell the rest of the committees, boards, commissions. Um, we post on the town website a hard copy on the town Bolton, town office bulletin board, front porch forum, Maple Corner store, East Callis post office. That's the location for posting um, notices, and people seem to know where to look now. Maple Corner, where else did you say? Um, Maple Corner store, East Callis post office, front porch forum, town office, and town website. I think until the East Cal store is open, that's a good, good, that's good. Okay. And these are just because... These are notices. And that's, there's something, is there another thing that's different? There was something we were talking about and somebody said, no, we don't have to post that on front porch form. But when we talk about official notices, official oh, posting, like, a like an agenda, um, or a job posting. Um, no, or, well, a job posting might be... A little different. We get to decide where we're going to Right, because that's not anything to do with the open meeting law. This has to do with the open meeting law. Okay. So we, the organ, we do this once a year, right? The right. Yeah. Yeah. So, in an optimistic moment, how about next I, year? I move that we continue to post as we currently are. As we currently are, with the addition of the East Calis store when and if it commences operation before our next organizational meeting. I think that's what we did last year. Is that a second chair? Second. Okay. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Um, newspaper of record for public notices. You know, we used to use the Times Iris all the time. They were really, really expensive. And they're down in two days a week, right? Right. Four days a week. Three oh, three. no. No. Four days a week. Never mind. They're Tuesday. Thursday, Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. The hard work is that is weekly. So and this is for and when I say the official newspaper record, this is for posting things like when the DRB has a hearing and they have to post it in the newspaper. Mm -hmm. That's what this is. It doesn't have anything to do with if we have a job. Right. Okay. Right. Is there an all or do you think there's something better that we should do? Here well, you know, I just I don't know how many people get the Times Argus. I don't know how many people get the hard to get that. Do we um, have to do it? You have to, you have to pick one. We have to do a yeah. newspaper. Yeah. It's tough because the hard to that is more local, I think. <coughs> the problem in this, in this is, area, is that it's, it's weekly. It's weekly. And that can be, that can create real logistical problems. Right. And they're on shaky ground. They know being able to continue. Oh, really? Oh, that's terrible. So, and then, so in one sense, I would like to support them. Or, or and if we wanted to, we can pick two, but there's a price. Yeah. 
I guess I would say let's just continue with what we have. Well, we have both, right? We, we, can, do we, can, we can do both if we want to, but we have to pick one. Well, he, you said continue, so did I, are we only doing Tarrant Saugus right now? Yeah. As our official newspaper for posting for like DRB notices of okay. I think we might as well continue if we have to do one. Okay, Mark, was that a motion? Yeah. Well, wait, wait, wait. Do you think we should do both? We can, we can do both if we want to, but I think for, for the minutes and for letting other, like DRB know, right. TA. Okay. All right, I move the TA. Okay, second. I'll second that. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. We need um, signature. Oh, okay. you I, might have I know I accidentally I might have mixed in the document online. Oh, okay. Take a look. All right. Next up, um, we have to appoint um, tonight and the health officer and the delegates to Central Mount Solid Waste Management District because Central Mount Solid Waste Management District has a meeting coming up. So I checked with John and Bill Powell. Bill's our delegate. John's our alternate. Um, so here's my concern. We don't have their names on the agenda. Can we uh, can we indicate an intent to formally appoint them at the next meeting and ask them to participate in that meeting, representing the town of Cowes for now? Oh, you're worried that we don't have the authority. I don't have the name. I didn't put the names on the and agenda. If we don't put the names on the agenda, we can't do it. Well, it, we, we should put we should put the names on the agenda. So, it, so I just forgot to put them on. No, no, no. I know, but but we want people to have the opportunity to say, "Oh, good lord, they're going to appoint John right. Raymond again," up. Okay. and say, that. "Really, no." We, we we that we need to do that. So, so can we appoint them provisionally? With well, wait a minute. When's our next meeting? The 24th, right? No, 28th, two weeks. 28th, okay. So they want this form back by March 25th. Um, I mean, we don't, like you said, I, I should have put the names on the agenda. I forgot. Don't worry. Okay. Um, I don't think it's controversial. No. I don't think it's controversial, but I want to so dot the I's and cross the T's. Hmm? What do you think we should do? We can just appoint them. I mean, they've already been serving, um, and the time there's a time factor for these two. What happens if we don't meet their deadline? Then they can't go to a meeting and represent Cal's. Um, I would, I would rather, I would rather like have an emergency meeting and warn it with their names, so that we are checking that. Box and then appoint them tonight without having put their names on. I guess I don't see it as that big of a deal. It's not like we're appointing, um, I don't know. I don't know. I guess I don't see it as that big of a deal. People can look and see who's. Do you, how do you feel about a provisional appointment subject to confirmation at the next meeting? Warned. I'm, f I'm fine with that. I'm that. fine with that. I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that as long as we provide the public an opportunity that's to show up and tell us we really Vision, screwed that's up. A good idea. That's in a way that's warned. Yeah, okay. So what is it called? Okay. Provisional we're making this up. It's called so, provisional appointment. Yeah. So we're, I move the provisional appointment of uh, John Braven, Bill Powell as delegate, and John as alternate. Provision. Is that the appointment you say to that be right? provisional? He will lead and no, John's adopt the alternate. Right. Okay. Such a, a provisional appointment subject to confirmation in our next meeting, subject to warning and conservation uh, and confirmation. Subject, subject to confirmation at our next meeting. meeting. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, is there a second? Second. Okay. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 So I'm, I'm learning. I'm getting educated here. You are. Mm -hmm. um, health officer, let me look and see when for sure that one has to be done. What I want to know is, 
Okay, we can do this one at our next meeting. Okay. As long as we do it by the 31st. Okay, great. Okay. All right. And if there was something. Oh, is that going to be Jay? Yes, I've talked to Jay. Okay. And Jay, is Jay copying? That's something that the assistant could do call around and get mm -hmm. the yeas or nays on people continuing to serve. Mm -hmm. Okay, under old business. Did you, did you have something you wanted to do? I do. Know? I want to just... Because um, I have something, too. An old business. So a few months ago, back in the fall, or even late summer, Mark and I were um, asked to work with Alfred and um, anybody who's interested, um, Peter Harvey, Harvey certainly, on the Did positive. he volunteer or did you call him? Mm, I asked him. You know, did anybody asked. else express an interest? No, hmm. no. Um, we so we met we met several times and uh, I think we sh it, so I really all I'm saying is we met several times. It's time for us to report back um, and can we have this on an agenda at the next meeting? Sure, sounds good. Thank you. That's it. Okay, my thing is as you'll remember town ninety seven. The board voted to move forward with. Scheduling a hearing and all that. So the only thing I have is um, for us to sign this notice. I'm sorry, you spoke too quickly for me. This is on what? The can, the count highway count seven. Okay. That we voted to move right. forward with on January 24th, and here is the notice to get published that we all need to sign, just make sure you sign where your name is. Um, it's a good thing that she, you know, I need this kind of direction. I, I do, you know, I'm getting old. Yeah, yeah, you're getting old and feeble, feeble-minded. Could you remind me of my name? <laughs> you're young enough. Um, so that was it, and then this is gonna be going in, out in the paper, and it will be published in the locations that we just approved, and it's been run by Jim Barlow. I need to make sure I have it on my calendar. Yeah, the 16th at 10 o'clock. What is this? The sixth the meeting itself? The site visits at the 16th at 10. The hearing will follow immediately afterwards here. And that's it. It's already on the calendar. Oh, you're so good. I'm worried. And this month? April. April. All right, that's it. Unless there's something else. But it's been long. Like I said, Sharon, I have another Saturday. Yeah, I have it. Good. It's on my calendar. Okay, would anybody like to make a motion to adjourn? Second.